What's going on guys? It's Ben here and welcome back to another video. In today's video, excuse my hair by the way, I've you know, just literally woke up and uh, getting ready to go to the villa. Uh, so yeah, uh, we're Villa are going to be welcoming Bristol City to Villa Park. It's a huge game today, it's one of the biggest that we'll have left. In fact, I think it is the biggest we've got left, minus the playoffs, uh, which hopefully we will get. Um, so yeah, uh, let's head right off to the middle part. My prediction is going to be Villa 3, Bristol City 2. Uh, and I, I just feel John McGinn and Amor El Ghazi to get goals for us today. So yeah, uh, let's get So we're here at Villa Park. About half an hour to kick off a great turn up. Half an hour left, they've pretty much filled it up. We've just seen the team news. No Jack Greenish today, no Courtney House, no Tyro Binks, no Kodja. We might be in a little bit of trouble, but I'm confident it is there. I'm still standing by my 20 prediction. Good picture. Good picture. Yeah! 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 Yeah!
of seeing him. Come on! Finish! just in general top notch uh we had everything you'd want a villa performance to have we looked threatening on the attack we could have scored five or six goals really horahan could have grabbed himself a hat trick minus the goal he scored keenan davis could have grabbed a couple mcginn could have grabbed a couple it really could have been a different game um so let's get right into it so obviously our goal was a penalty tammy abraham uh stepping up caught and kawali converting straight down the middle um after Conor Horahan was brought down in the box, it was a penalty. Bristol weren't really sure, but it was a penalty. Um, but before that, there were so many good chances. Horahan with a header that was incredibly saved by their goalkeeper. Their, their goalkeeper, hands down, has got to be one of the best keepers that's come to Villa Park because he had a terrific performance today for uh, for Bristol. They're, they're without their keeper, you know, uh, played so well he did that pff, it could have been easily it could have been five six seven uh and then in the first half as well Abbott Adoma hitting the post El Ghazi strike from about 30 yards keeper couldn't hold on to it and Adoma tries to you know head it onto there uh head it into the back of the net but it just strikes the post and goes away really unlucky Bristol then have a goal disallowed Andreas Weimer with a diving header into the top corner uh but unfortunately his uh hit, well, unfortunately for Bristol he was offside fortunately for us um and then, yeah, we did the first half, it was still nil-nil. Uh, but, you know, all those chances had happened. And obviously, out in the second half, Abraham able to get the penalty after Horahan uh, goes down. And Horahan finally gets his goal. But as I said in the you know in the time, it was all An- 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 Anwar Al-Ghazi. He beats, picks up the ball off and he'll tail that. Beats two or three men, plays a wonderful through ball into the middle. And Horahan hits it first time across the face of goal. Keeper can't do anything about it, his view's blocked. And uh, it ends up nestling right into the bottom corner. But of course, we're Aston Villa and we're going to make it difficult for ourselves. And uh, uh, an overhead kick from the, the 
uh, Bristol City player, uh, left us in a lot of trouble. Uh, yeah, left us with a lot to do towards the end of the game, but thankfully uh, we were, we've learned how to see a game out um, and we were able to hold on for the three points. Uh, but again, my man of the match today, Amar Ghazi, he was incredibly good. He just, he caused the whole of their left-hand side nightmares. You know, he's step over in left, right, left, right, left, right, whipping balls into the box, just in general, being such a problem. He set up two of our hands, you know, great chances before finally getting the assist for our hand strike. And he was just causing them such a problem. But also... You could pick out quite a few players who had good games there. John McGinn had an, another incredible game, as normal. Uh, Albert Adoma had a good game. Uh, Mille Yedinak had a great game. Um, Axel Tuanzebe had a great game. Neil Taylor had a great game. Al Mohamedy had a great game. It, just in general, it was such a team performance. And everyone's saying, oh, you know, we're a one-man army with Jack Grealish and whatnot. It, it's just not true. It's The thing with Grealish is he gives everyone a confidence boost. And we were really low on confidence without Jack Grealish. Obviously, they lost to West Brom and things like that. Um, and obviously now he's come back, he's given players, you know, confidence. Tyron Minks, his presence in the back four as well, he's given a lot of players confidence. He wasn't available today after his red card against Rotherham. But I thought Yedinak stepped into the role quite well. Um, obviously I wouldn't play him over House or... Um, I wouldn't play him over Courtney House or Tyron Minks, but... Phew, still, not a bad performance from Yedinak. Uh, Whelan bossed it in midfield as normal. Glenn Whelan, he's just such a new player since Grealish and Mings uh, have started playing. He's just been an absolute gem in the middle of the park. Um, but John McGinn again today. Uh, it's twice in a row we've been winning 2-1, going into a, you know, a five, six-minute added time. He picks up the ball in the halfway line, dribbles past a few men, gets into the box. You're thinking, that situation. If it was any other time in the game, you'd float that into the box for uh, Keenan Davis to finish uh, after Abraham went off injured. Um, but obviously, no, he he decides that the three points are more important and he turns around and makes a beeline for the corner flag, which is, you know, and then ends up winning Villa a corner off it. So, you know, fantastic. As I say, I'm not, big, I'm not a big fan of time wasting at all, but there's times where it's important. Uh, obviously, against... QPR, I think it was, they were winning 2-1, and they time-wasted for 11 minutes straight um, with all the added time. Obviously, we, we ended up drawing that game 2-2, but phew, we're a different team now. Eight on the bounce, eight on the bounce, incredible. So, the next video on the channel will be hopefully a live stream against Bolton. It depends on how the Wi-Fi holds up. We figured out the problem, which was why the Rotherham stream went so badly, and it is the internet connection, it just cannot hold... Uh, how well that you know the stream and things like that. So uh, we may have to find a, a way around that, unfortunately. But again, I I feel like I've I found a couple of ways I'll be able to stream. Uh, and then after that, it's Mill on Easter Monday. Um, so obviously, if you don't tune into the Bolton live stream, I hope you have a wonderful Easter. Um, you know everything goes well for you. Uh, obviously two weeks off uh, school as well at the moment, which is obviously what I'm loving. And uh, let me know if also you want to see a, another football video. Uh, obviously I did the uh, recreating goals. It didn't do too well because it was so dark. Uh, but now I've got actually days off. If you know you guys wanted, I could step out into the garden or potentially even go to the local park uh, and try and you know recreate some of the bigger goals. You know, try and do some more long distance strikes. Because a lot of people were saying. Uh, to me, like, you know, school and things like that, who watched it, uh, was saying that, obviously, it, it was so close that it wasn't really that great. But, obviously, it's all about the technique. But if you guys want me to, you know, do technique and power, uh, you know, just let me know. Uh, and also let me know with other video ideas I could do, because there's lots of different things I could do. I'm working on doing a FIFA 19 career mode as well with Aston Villa, but I can't figure out how to record on Xbox. If you guys know how to do that, please let me know as well. Uh, so yeah, just let me know if new ideas you want to do. Make sure you, you know, uh, obviously I'm enjoying, all, you know, loving all the support on the channel at the moment. So thank you very much uh, for watching this video. Um, and uh, yeah, hopefully I'll be able to catch you on the live stream of Bolton. If not, Monday the 22nd when Villa welcome Millwall to Villa Park. But yeah, a huge win for us today as we beat fifth place. Uh, as we rise up to fifth place uh, against a very good Bristol City team. So yeah, that's going to wrap it up for today's video. I uh, just wanted to give a quick mention as well to the, all the Bristol City fans at Villa Park. They were ace. You know, they were singing and dancing all night long. 
Uh, so that fair play to them on 41,400 in the stadium. It's the highest attendance we've had this year. So well done uh, to all the Villa fans and Bristol fans who are out there. It was a great game and I really enjoyed it. So yeah, thank you very much for watching this video. Uh, if you enjoyed it, please consider liking and subscribing as well. Uh, it just you know helps me out a lot. Uh, and yeah, I'll, I'll, hopefully I'll, I'll see you whether it's next stream or video. So yeah, that's going to be that. Uh, see ya.